time on Chasing Atlanta. When I was told to move to the side, Wayne left. It's hard for me to speak on it because me and Wayne have been told in weeds. So this song is by JJ Jones featuring Taka Garcon and it's called Runway 101. I just feel like every time I try to have a conversation with him, he's been rude, he's been dismissive. I just didn't think that was the right time. When it comes to them, I love them and I enjoy them. They just require a lot. I don't care if it is me that's going back to back. I never want y'all to feel like y'all yeah. be involved at any point. Mm -hmm. We made it six months and Before. I ain't at the point where I'm gonna let anybody lock me down right now. Oliver's not coming. When in actuality, he doesn't give a shit about us. If this person is showing you that they don't want to have anything to do with you, why are you constantly trying? Well, then if we were gonna do it that way, then I'm not talking to him. Throw the whole conversation and the people involved in the trash, myself included. Yeah, I'm moving right along. <laughs> 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 The goal is still here. So shortly after the pool party, my stepfather passed away. So I went home for a few weeks. I had to get some things in order, but I'm back. And one thing about my stepdaddy is he definitely pushed me to get that bag. Today, I have meeting up with my friend, Elaine. We're gonna talk about this new deal that I got on the table. It's about to bring the coins. Uh, so Shane has been driving crazy. The bags are handled. So I got my, my the bags are done. Right now, it's only a sample. I'm waiting for the sample to get here so I can see the quality of it. So I have that on top, on point. The shoes are on point. So that way the shoes and bags will drop at the same time. So you gonna do a soft launch? Sheen is really was 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 holding me back right now. Once I know the release date for Sheen, then I would know when everything is gonna be. Stuff so y'all, the doll has finally got the first brand deal that I have been looking for. And this year, I have been offered the opportunity to do a collab with Sheen. And they approached me about joining a program that they had. So if the coins is right, then I'm definitely gonna sign that damn paperwork. Like this right here. You, know, you can take out of this one and this one. Cause that's our budget, so. Well, this is the moment. I'm meeting up with Jerry and I gotta tell him that me and my my boyfriend are now no longer nothing. Now, child, like I said, I have been gone for several weeks, and as I'm on the way back, next thing I know, I land yesterday, and I pull up my phone, and all hell has broken loose. I see shit on TTB, I see shit on Rico's page, Rico's boyfriend's, with ex-boyfriend's page. I just need to lay eyes on my friend, make sure my friend is good, and figure out what the hell didn't happen. So, um... Girl. What? <laughs> I was gone for two weeks, all hell broke loose. What are you talking about? Ain't this what you used when you uh, got to his house? No, I used the rock. I'm not gonna. A uh, rock. What's so going on? Again. I was dating this boy named Taylor for like eight months. We were in an open relationship and everything was good, but communication started failing, and he started being secretive and hiding stuff. But the fucked up part about it was. It was with somebody else on the show that I created. And oh, the series. Yeah, they were hanging out all weirdly, and you know. So you felt your intuition was intuition up yeah. kicked in. That's how we broke up was because of my intuition and me asking so many questions and him starting to act funny. Everything had died down. We were trying to be on the path of being friends, all this good stuff. So I got a message from Mikael, and I was talking to Mikael, and Mikael was like, "Well, I didn't know." how to tell you this or when to tell you this and I didn't think it was my place to tell you this but Ja told me that Tay told him that the only reason why he was with you was to be with you because you were on the show. I came up with a new catchphrase instead of chasing chasers. <laughs> Baby listen, chase we, we, we both in the same boat. 
That's the t-shirt for y'all, huh? Chasers. 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 <laughs> so yes, in addition to new terms for sex positions, there are new terms for men these days called the chasing chasers. These are men who like to date you just to be on a platform. If that's what Rico feels, I don't know the ins and outs of his relationships, but I know me personally. The first time I ever heard this man talk about his kids in the house was when them cameras started rolling. So I'm just saying, it's a real thing. Hide your kids, hide your wife, hide your co-stars, because they always try to snatch up everybody just for five minutes of fame. And it ain't really working out too well for them. I got, I, I jumped, I got in the car and I went to his house because I was like, we talked. I thought we were cool. When I pulled up, I saw Ja there. So Ja, you lied to me and told me you was hanging out with your sister so you can go hang out with my ex. How can a person that I said I love you to play with me in my face like this. It just got messy and it just led to me doing some really dumb shit that I regret to where I would do something stupid to jeopardize my freedom. Before we went on, are you okay? I mean, oh, I'm not gonna cry. I'm gonna you cry. better emote before you hit somebody else. I just see that. I can still see the hate. You, you punched me. Tay is the first person I've seriously dated since I was 21 years old. I'm 34. That took me back to that time that nigga first punched me. And I could. It's okay to love somebody and have been through hell with them. But just because you love them, that don't mean that they deserve a position in your life. Preach. Even though it was an open, re open relationship and Rico says he was comfortable with it, deep down he wasn't. He did it because he was in love. And he might not want to say that to me, but I know Rico, like the back of my hand. And I know Rico did not want this to be open, but sometimes when you want love, you do shit just to make somebody else happy. Trust me, I've been there. Well, bitch, you can't help that sometimes you from the street and you just do some street shit. That motherfucker wasn't gonna try me like that and get away. But all, all, all I saw was waiting to exhale in my motherfucking head. And bitch, all I heard was Monica say, kick down the door and smack the bitch. And I just, I blacked out. Okay, enough about me before I start crying. Let's talk about Sheen. Is this We're talking about Sheen. What's, what's the fat girl stuff at? Where's the shit? We got, we got, we got. Cute. That coming fat? No, they coming fat. Friend. I know you just got out of a relationship. It ain't no just got. I've been single, living in there free for a while. Well, I haven't <laughs> seen you in this moment, honey, because you've been MIA. I've been working. Uh, I kind of want to set you up on a blind date. Oh. Now, bitch, don't go get married next week, okay? I just want you to get talking? some fun in your life, you know? How blind we talking? I'm like, wait, Charles blind? <laughs> like me without my glasses blind. You can see him blind. This is just Stella. This is Stella. Get your Google. Stella? Group. I still yeah. got her Google. Yeah. But don't do what she did, though. That's don't compare it. Y'all don't even know what my type is. So I'm literally like, you want me to go on a blind date? I don't know nothing about this man. He gonna take away from my time and with my business. Don't waste my time. If he wastes my time, they learn you want me a new outfit and we going shopping. That's all I'm telling you. I go, if the man is ugly, you owe me $25 per hour for every hour I was with you. Ooh, bitch. I got to pay a deposit to see you on a date. Dang. No, I'm saying that if, he, if he's ugly, that's what you got to pay for wasting my time. Oh, well, uh, how about we get something that's he's cute? I get three of these shit items for free, and my birthday is next. Three? Yes. Yay, who's bird lunch? Lunch on Jack? You got it, honey. Lunch on Jack. That smile. That's why I ain't got it. Sounds like we're going to McDonald's. <laughs> Big chicken for everybody. So today your girl is super, super excited because I have been in the works with one of the top wholesalers in Atlanta for weaves, wigs, anything that you need hair related. And they have invited your girl to come on in and have tea and also go over a contract with them. Mm -hmm. So glad that you know you you talk talk with my colleague and yes. it's Sherry. Hey Sherry. Yeah. Hey, how, how are you? I'm good. Yeah. How are you doing? Yeah, uh, uh, I'm fine. And uh, right now, I want to talk with you how to make the video or like you you want to make it by yourself or like you, you can follow me. Yeah, you can try to do it. Yeah, okay. you can tell me how, how y'all want to do it. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I just came to dance for y'all. That's all. No, I thought I was coming to sign a contract with them. These bitches got me doing a full on commercial. And here we have. God damn it, I love you. All righty, welcome to Barry's Fashion Hair. As you can see, we have a large variety. So they have a large variety of different textures, colors, and lengths. They have our yellow bone straight. They have 613 bobs. They also have a wide variety of tape-ins. I use their hair personally myself. I use their hair for my clients because the hair is crazy. 
the hair is cracked. So now we are in the warehouse and as you can see, they have a huge and fully stocked warehouse. Right here is a frontal wig that they have. It's 613 straight. Everything about it is gorgeous. I've even recolored it and it looks like a brand new wig. So Berries is fully laced, full true lace. So if you need hair, this is your place to go. So I've been doing hair since I was 15 years old and I actually decided to take it series back in 2013 and I enrolled in college, graduated, got my cosmetology license and literally took off from the time I got my license on up until a great little point in my life. When I ventured out and tried to sell hair, by that time the market was saturated. I still did okay. But I know that I could do more for a company, you know, hand to hand with clients. You send me, I send you. Ain't that right, girl? Yay. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing hair for a long time. I've hair that's great quality. I'm gonna stick behind it. You really know us, you know, for years, and you use our hair. Oh, it's just so, you know, so <laughs> amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm getting nervous. So again. Me, so good. You are good. Oh, I'm good again. This is a really, really big deal for me because I've been in Atlanta for three years now and those bundles and wigs and things have been raved about from almost everybody that I've known. Some of the top people that I've worked for, some of the top salons that I've worked for use this company. Of course, for them to even consider me to be something brand ambassador related, I was on board for it 100%. Now they said we supposed to be having tea, but we end up leaving with Diet Coke. I don't know what that's about, but I wanted my tea. Thank y'all. Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Looking forward. What do y'all see here? What do y'all see here? Okay. Okay. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank Today I get to see my favorite Taurus in the world, none other than Twan Dixon. He is, of course, our therapist, me and me share him. Today I'm just coming to sit down and talk with him and just let him know like what's really been going on with my life because honestly, y'all, the reason you haven't seen me around the group is because it's really been hard for me. So what's been going on? Well, you know, I've been in a space, focused on myself and really get myself together before I can give myself to other people. I feel like I've been a little distant. I feel like I've put a lot of things on the back burner in my life. Everything about me, I want back 100% so that I can give myself to the world 100%. So over the course of the year, after the group just, you know, went our separate ways, I lost my car. Um, I ended up moving out of my apartment and moving in with my boyfriend. We were out to eat one night and the car got broken into and all of my things were stolen. My MacBook, my gun, the clothes that I had in there. It's just like life took a really dramatic shift for me and I felt really incomplete. Like I felt like I didn't have everything I needed anymore. I think Twan really could help me figure out and sort some things down in order for me to come up with a plan to better myself. If we look at career, relationship, happiness right you're good in all those right yeah what's keeping you from really pushing at a hundred percent i really feel like my resources aren't really there before it was easier for me because i lived in my own space right but it's like now that i moved in with him i can't just come home and be like oh off of the film. Everybody else has their own, their own thing going on, but I'm so focused on my personal life and I'm so stressed out with what I'm trying to get done and what I'm trying to accomplish. I don't even want to be around nobody. It's like I'm shutting down. I think for myself, knowing like my friends, I feel like they care, but I feel like it's not as deep rooted. Everyone else get their props. Everyone else gets, you know, the big likes, the big boom. And it's just like, I always constantly feel like I'm being place in the background and it's like how do I get out of there what do I do to feel seen how do I feel seen help me out here like under try to understand where I'm coming from so we can kind of like move forward are you open to the friend group and letting people know like hey this is my reality sometimes I just need y'all to say how are you feeling are y'all supporting each other in that aspect like some of us are. I feel like Will and Nick check in on me. Do check in here and there when it comes to other people in the group. No, not really. I will say Tonka is someone that I've grown to know and to love. And he will call me and say, just randomly, but like, you know, just call to check on you. I think at some point y'all need to get together and be able to individually express, this is what my biggest struggle is. If we can all do better, it's just like checking in. Because of the fact that each person 
has a dream. Sometimes we need that person to say, how's it going? We could make so much money together that we could apart. And even when we were chasing the beat last year, I think that was my most proudest moment right. of us as a group. I really want genuine real friendships when I get to crying or when I get to say how I feel. When things don't go or when I do something and it doesn't work, I feel like I failed. But you didn't fail. Everything is about timing. An individual that fails, they didn't try. After sitting down talking to Mr. Dixon today, it kind of really actually put a little bit of life into me. And it kind of made me emotional because I really don't you know, have people I feel that I they understand me on this particular level. To hear him say like I didn't fail, to hear him amp me up and let me know like I'm just in a rough patch, lets me know that if I'm at the bottom, only place that I can go is up. And baby, it's about to be up and stuck. After finishing my conversation with Twan, I really had to go shed some tears and let that feeling out. I couldn't do it sitting in front of him only because I don't know if I felt embarrassed. I don't know if I actually could believe that I actually sat there and let him know like what's really, really been going on and what's really, really been bothering me. But to let it out and tell somebody else and then let them understand my experience felt like a weight lifted off my shoulder. And in this moment, all I can do is just, you know, let it out. Coming up on Chasing Atlanta. The strongest people need that same support. And I don't feel like sometimes I have that. I don't know how Troy feels second to his friend. My biological father basically went to prison for murdering a queer man. I'm seeing the numbers three and five. This is a real hard time for me. But yes, I like King Kane. Yes, we are vibing. I just want to say. together with the Fab Five or the Center of the Six or the child, I don't know, we have all them nicknames, but you know my girls from last season, all my girl girls, so we have to get them all together. Because as y'all know, last year I talked about me starting my wine line and now I have finally dwindled it down to the four final flavors. So now I want to taste them with my girls and let's see what it's giving, what they not feeling, what they feeling. Child, just please don't be too cool. I don't spend too much money on this shit today. Okay, I'm sorry to see all y'all. All at once. Yeah. I feel like it's in a minute. Sweet in a minute. Yeah. 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 What's going on? So I got a crunch track machine. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So my wine I've been working on. Y'all took a break from my grandmother pass, but mm -hmm. now I'm like, okay, so I got the final four flavors. My shoes that I talked to you about y'all with last year, those mm -hmm. are gonna drop the same day. Period. Period. Let's go. Congratulations. It's gonna be that Jay Amore. Fall 2023. Okay, fall 2023. I get a text message from Troy saying that he was going to Jay's wine tasting. So I was like, girl, I ain't doing nothing. And I want a drink. The first drink that you're gonna taste is called French Kiss. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a French rose. It is a 7%. 7%. <laughs> You know, you in a car, you gotta take a roadie, a drink for the road. No, 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 no. We don't shit. drink and drive, baby. Yeah. The next one is called Sweet Love. Area. I like this one. Bitch, that's a little bubbly. That's cute. <laughs> so this one is, Shh, the next one is a seduction. All right. You said it's a woman? Seduction. Seduction. No, I thought I'd be horny. It is a 17%. It's a, it's a red blend. 17. 17%. Bitch. Damn, this shit strong as hell, bitch. <laughs> this gonna have you wobbling out the door. And the last one is called Menage a Trois. Oh, mm -hmm. So you really want so to be hard on me. Basically, you're a slut. Mm -hmm. I need this next week for my birthday, Jay. Jay got his wines out. I love a white wine, but he got this very particular red wine that got a high, you know, concentration of alcohol in it. And baby, she tastes good. I think it was called like the Menage a Trois or something like that. And baby, it made me want a Menage a Trois. Now, did I just hear this bitch say that uh, the wine named Menage a Trois? See, that's the shit that got you in trouble last season. With you and Cam. Bitch, you gotta have enough of that. Hey, how, how we feeling? What y'all think? Um, I love it. Oh, no, honey. Mm -hmm. I've got some people for you. Yeah. yeah. Don't be cute. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Y'all excited about the speed dating? That bitch called it a meat market. <laughs> it is a meat market. It's a meat market. You eating a lot of meat, ain't it? Are right, we gonna have them pull their thing out so we can melt it? Yeah. That's a meat market. 
I'm excited for the meat market. I'm excited that Willa, Neat Neat, Olivera Oil, and I are going to be doing this event. I'm coordinating it. We're having it at the legendary My Sister's Room. I want a nigga. She's there. She's taking part. That's what I'm about to say. Where what is like, going on? Like, but what? It's just a lot. And I think. What I imagined from the group this year, this go round was just us to really get together and have a time. And I feel like this one person, it, for me, spoiled the bun. I was having a conversation at work the other day with my coworker and I was just like feeling, telling him, he was just like, well, you know, you gotta really put yourself out there. You really gotta do this, you gotta do that. But I told him, I feel like sometimes I feel second to other people. The strongest people need that same support. And I don't feel like sometimes I have that. Um, I don't know how Troy feels second to his friends when we feel second. I, let me not speak for everybody. I feel second. Throughout my whole entire transition, me starting hormones, Troy has not been here. We can't be there for you if you're not allowing us to. Let me say this, and I want to say this to our only eye. As long as you in line, you're going to get to the front. And that means multiple things, like physically in line and also whatever it would be considered emotionally in line type of shit. As long as you in line, you gonna get to the front. That's my message that's important. Stem is a hater. <laughs> I just thought I'd add that in since we telling truth and stuff. That's a hater. I can't. What we gonna do about the rest of the group? Um, I don't know. Like, I want to start hanging out, but every time we get together, it's well, who, is the, well, who is the rest of the group? Well, let me tell y'all something. Because y'all got to see. You're not going to group, girl. No, I'm Y'all got to see like, everybody real soon. You know, I don't know who we got to see So I invited everybody to my house one man. Oh, gee. Like the whole crew. Like all 19 of them? Like all 25 of us. All 25 of us. Them girls not gonna show up, girl. Can I tell you something? I just, it, it might just be me, but I feel like it's a lot of underhanded shit that I'm seeing because I'm more clear headed and it's making me feel away because I don't reach out. Like times I was supposed to be in somewhere and people kind of through salt or when I was going through whatever I was going through or whatever, have my little weak moment, want to give quit and all that type of shit. It's like it was people praying like on the bullshit. Oh yeah, you definitely should quit. I'm, I ain't gonna take, bitch, that would be great for you, wouldn't it? Yeah. That would be great for you, wouldn't Man, it? Who are we talking about? I'm not, bitch, I, no, we I'm taking some on no ho, get shit from Willa. Do you understand? <laughs> the comment that I heard was made at the thing that the energy was just so, <sighs> oh, and, yeah. oh, and the energy so, was this uh, and what that. What said while we was at? <coughs> Who the, said that? Uh, I want to say Oliver said that this dynamic or whatever, like all the people that was there was like a vibe. Like he was like, this, this is like, don't y'all feel like the atmosphere around us a vibe? I thought the last time I was right but I didn't take it no way at first until I really thought about it. And I was like, well, no, nah, because even everybody at this thing you wasn't fucking with. So I'm like, I don't know where they come from, but I just thought maybe he said that because everybody was so happy to see him. I seen Oliver like two weeks ago, and that's where my feelings kind of got hurt because it was like the whole time I was with Oliver. I'm sitting up here trying to figure out a way for the group to get together and for us to kind of move forward. He told me he said, fuck this shit. And I didn't want to put him out there like that, but yeah, that's what he said to me. No, no, I felt like the reason he came and said something to me, I just so I wouldn't be offended, but girl, it, could, it can be fuck me. I don't give a damn. You just did what it is. And this ain't no shade, but I feel like the other person that been walking around addressing dressing his motherfucking body is Twan. <laughs> J. Twan. G. Well, you was there, bitch. Was it? When we was at the little um, candy coated thing. Or the bedroom candy thing, he was like, he felt like out of everybody who he was gonna have an issue with was me or whatever. And I was like, why? And and Rico had bust out and was like, oh, cause you scared of Willa or something like that. He was like, no, and I wanna say for the record, I am absolutely not scared of Willa. Cool. I was like, so technically it is what it is, but when I got back and thought about it some more, it only made me think that you sat back and watched the season of how I did, how I gave it up. And, and you was in your feelings or talking to whoever about it and saying, oh, well, she could have never talked to me or woo woo, cause you would have went out. Okay, but just because you wanted to give me different type of energy, which I promise you, you could have gave me all of that. 
<laughs> all of that. And however it would have went, would have been however it would have went. It is what it is. I see you out. I think you cool or whatever. It ain't no problem. But it did make me think like, the fuck was this some shit to say? You could have kept that shit to yourself. Like, I think a lot of people come up with assumptions of who they think I might have been just based off of what they watched. But if you didn't actually take the time to get to know or whatever the case then, just leave it blank until you can feel it in the lines. Don't feel it in the lines until you got the info. And that's just all I ask. Just a little grace. Yeah. So, we are going to come to your your house and warming. Everybody just needs to be on their best behavior. I'm wearing a tracksuit. Now there say. is one person that I did not invite. Who? I did not invite Wayne. Why? You should invite him. What? What's our issue with Wayne? In lore of recent activities. Girl. If the bitch who sure? he got into it with telling you to invite him, invite okay. him. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. And your mama gonna be there. Your mama gonna be there. And if, if that bitch act up in front of your mama, it's gonna be both of us acting up in front of your mama. Wayne the pain. We don't have a relationship. I'm not gonna invite someone to my home, to my space that I don't have a relationship with. It just makes no sense to me. Well, Jay, I'm proud of you. I want to say that. Damn I'm right. so happy for everything you have going on. Yeah, give me some Ben Menage to go. Give me the bottle and I'm going to go, okay? See you later. If there's a will, there's a way. Money is hard, time is hard, I'm stressed out, and I found this photographer that does at-home photo shoots. Anything to save a penny, I'ma do it. So I invite my friends to help me with this, and we're gonna make things happen. Y'all know I'm anti-social, I'm gonna go outside anyway, so like, this is perfect. Oh girl, how's things been? Um, things have been interesting. You know, the single, I think everybody's gonna like. I'm excited for people to hear it. It's different, it's a different sound for us. But you know, I had to go back to work, being trans and just being around so many people. And then I'm a hostess at a restaurant. Some people come in, they clock. It be doing a lot. It just comes with a lot. Thank God I made a point in my transition where I feel comfortable. Sometimes the fish cannot take. I'm sorry, they be clocking me to their boyfriends or this and it, and I have to literally be professional. It is not easy, and then you look at your checks, those nine to five checks do not amount to those allowances my sugar daddy is giving me every month. I don't see how people do it. So how has things been going with you know who? How things been going white chocolate? Yes. <laughs> He was supposed to come here, but he had a business thing that he had to do, so he flew me out. He's hard to be around right now because like, even when I'm thinking like, oh, it's gonna be back to normal, things are gonna be good. He's always bringing up, always talking about his dick not working, girl. And it's not like it doesn't work, uh -huh. like fully. He gets aroused, but just not enough to like, penetrate me. I feel like it's not the same type of money because he don't see me as much. I've literally let years and years and years and years pass relying on someone else's income. I will always make sure I'm doing what I have to do to make the money I need to make. It feels good earning your own money. It feels good working for your own money, even though I feel like they pay the working class pennies and nickels and dimes. It still feels good to make your money from your hard work and labor. And not to say I don't make money from hard work and labor with him. <sighs> Cause baby, he's a sexual deviant and he likes a lot. But it's no shade. Like, it's just a different type of feeling. I'm like one thing about you, you gonna pull through. Oh, bitch. You always do. And you already. If one thing about you, <laughs> you gonna make it. Yeah, I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna pull it together. Bitch, I owe you money. <laughs> well, <laughs> I was gonna bring it up, but. <laughs> bitch, I gotta go to the bathroom. I think you need to change that one. This mm. one? Yeah, it's cute, but my hand look weird. I can edit the hand a little. I can use one of the other hands. Okay, just don't do me dirty. I'm not gonna do you dirty. Everything we were born to do, I definitely play a big part in the creative direction. Berlin helps when she can. But I definitely had a vision. I said, we're rapping, it's given like, early 90s TLC meets Nelle and like Spice Girls, I don't know. The 90s, whatever you think of when you think of the 90s, I wanted to incorporate that, but made it queer. And I'm going to take on the challenge of doing this cover as I did all the other single covers and album cover 
of We Were Born. How have you been? I've Outside been... of all this working, because that's all you seem to do. I call you, you're working. I come over, you're working. You like to go out a lot to be... You like to be, you know... And you don't ever come out at all. I, I like... I Listen... I'm a workaholic and I work from home. You do. You gotta make music, you gotta make costumes, you gotta do this, you don't got time for friends. Well, you got time for friends. <laughs> <laughs> how, how has that been with your friends? Your, you know, your Well, I wouldn't friends. consider everybody, you keep calling these people my friends. I don't uh -huh. consider everyone to be a friend yet. I would use that term. Um, this year, I feel like I'm getting to know them all. And they've Are you all getting seen, like along with them? Yeah, for the most part. I mean, I, I think, um, my favorite two so far that I'm getting to know is Tony and Tonka. But as far as Kendra, you know, Kendra's my sis. That's Miss What's Gooey. Very much What's Gooey. What's Gooey. Yes, I love Kendra. I love She's Kendra so sweet. Too. And Oliver and I, you know, you've been knowing that we've been on What? Y'all just took a trip. I saw y'all on Instagram together. Yeah, we took a trip. But like, I don't know, like. Cancun was beautiful and then we got back here and it's like I feel like he's just been very dismissive and mean. I want you to talk about something else because I also seen something else while you were on this trip. What you seen? You were kind of cozy with um a boy named like what's his name? Damien? <laughs> what's his name? I don't want to do that. What's his name? His name is Darius. Okay. We were very boot up, but you know, again, when people mm. be in mixing and twixing, and they bring their ass back to America and get into the hot Atlanta and start doing what they do. Y'all are not seeing each other. No, we're not seeing each other as in block. Ty Lee and I are polar opposites. Okay, so he's a Leo and I'm a Scorpio and we both like attention. That's the only thing we have in common. But, Opposites attract. He's loyal, he's kind, he's nice, and on top of that, he's attractive. He's a gem. It's rare. I do though, I do think you need to take a break though, because it's like you don't have time to really talk to anybody. Like, are you talking to your family? Yeah, me and my mom, we had a, a rocky year this I, thus far, but we're back to speaking and we're in better terms, and I think that um Think life is getting hard now because we're getting older and it's just hard now because I don't like to be at odds with her because I don't have any real relationship with my father. Like my childhood is kind of weird. My biological father basically went to prison for murdering a queer man and then his first child was gay. Ironic. You know, ironically. And I believe it's just the way the world works and just karma and you know. I travel a lot so I'm in and out of Florida and I see my father's side of the family often because that's um, my connection to him. I've really never had a connection at all. I've never really met him. My grandmother just recently told me that my father has multiple sclerosis and I feel inclined to reach out to him even though he has a troubling past with queer men and he's even threatened my life. You've never been there for me and why am I now as an adult having to reach out to you when you made the choice in your life to be absent? And I genuinely feel that he's missing out more than me. You know, he's always in and out of the hospital and I'm scared that I'm gonna get the call. But it's like, you know, you gotta face your fears. We can't live life based off fears. You know, we gotta put that But you also and... can't, I didn't get to my thirties making dumb decisions. Well, so you know, I didn't get to my twenties making smart ones. <laughs> so <laughs> true, touche, so. touche. <laughs> this is why I love you. You're young, you're smart, and you're beautiful. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. I appreciate you though. It's really good seeing you. No, it's really good seeing you. Because it's like I never thank get you to for... see you anymore. This is quality time to me. <laughs> this is quality time. This is quality time. I love you. I love okay. everything about this time <laughs> that we're spending together. <laughs> Get back to these pictures. Okay. Do you mind if I sit in here on FaceTime? No. Are you? Now you're going to be distracted talking to somebody else. I mean, you could be well, paying attention to me, edit. Okay. I would feel like that's quality time. But you're right. You, can, you, we, you know but what? But I you mean, you, you just said it don't matter what we do. You know, you And right. now you're saying it matter what we do. Pick I a side. can be picky sometimes. Well, and I'm picking to be on FaceTime. <laughs> <laughs> edit this. All right. Show. All right. All right. Yeah. You got it. You got it. <laughs>
Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? It's early. I see you got up. You know, this is before my time. How you doing? So I'm meeting up with one of my spiritual advisors today, LaCara with the gift, who is a world-renowned minister, spiritualist, and medium. I met LaCara through Madison, and after doing my own research and seeing exactly what it is that she stood for and how she practiced, I felt obligated to go to her for more enlightenment. And I'm bringing my friend Rico, who I've seen in social media has been going through a lot of stuff with his breakup and today to see if he can get some help with what he's going through. So I am a psychic medium. Um, I communicate with loved ones who have passed and some people come specifically for that reason because they want to get some type of closure or healing or peace. And then the other reason people come is because they have questions about their own journey, um, money, career, finance, whatever questions that they may have. My good Judy Oliver reached out to me and asked me to come meet him today. And we're gonna, he wanted me to meet somebody by the name of Lakara. She's a spiritual reader. This moment right here made me really know, to know that he's really my friend because he actually really cares that I'm hurting right now. I, okay, so when I was little, I used to have deja vu all the time. Mm. I used to like always, you know, search or I looked and I was like, deja vu is means you're on the path that you, you're on the right path in life. You've mm -hmm. lived this journey before, so you're seeing it again. Uh, one of my aunts passed and I just felt rainbows in my sleep. Mm -hmm. But I felt like a, a sense of loss and calm at the same time mm -hmm. and then woke up and found out that she passed. Mm -hmm. And it happened for like a couple of people. You know, my aunt passed away and um, the symbol that my family chose for her was the purple butterfly, mm -hmm. purple representing lupus um, and the butterfly. And I got in the car on the way here today and there were purple, pink, and blue butterflies all in the cabin of the Uber. She had like stickered them. And I was like, why you have, she's like, I just like butterflies. But instantly That's I got reminded of my aunt. I ain't gonna lie, some, a, a large part of me like, ah, it's just <laughs> coincidence. Her favorite gospel song came on the radio. Which well, song was it? Um, Be Encouraged. Oh, we were singing that song yesterday. Yes, yeah. Be Encouraged, it's her favorite gospel song. I gotta look, I gotta I just, Listen, okay. <laughs> no, I got goosebumps because I, I know what you're talking about. Like, I, you know my gay, my gay grandma, Tanisha Paz. Oh, yes. But her, the one thing she would always say is when it rains, it's gonna be a battle. That was her thing about passion. Was she sick? She had got silicone. In the body. Yeah. Illness in the body. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what she's showing me. Like, But I almost feel like there was some pain there, but she wasn't talking about this pain. No. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, she's extremely proud of you, but you gotta, you have to be willing to, I hear you, um, cut people off quicker than you do. Does that make sense? Um, give me a moment here. I heard you say that you just gone through a breakup. There's a lot of toxic around that issue. Does that make sense for you? Mm -hmm. And so I feel like in this space, you're doing a lot of questioning, like your self-worth, like, am I worthy? Am I, and, and you have to stop that. Did they end it? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like that's the struggle because you knew you were already supposed to leave. Yeah. Oh yeah. What's happening here with like career? Like I'm seeing, I don't know if you want to change, if there's something changing here for <laughs> you. He was just talking about that. I just said that last, we were just about that last, last night. Day. Wow. We were just talking like, about that. Like, and it's literally, I just reached out to some people to do a, a like a physical, like what I do nine to five career change. Wow. Thing. So I'm seeing the numbers three and five. What's that? That's how old I'll be this year. Wow. Because she just told me to write that number down That's for you. Exactly how old I'll be. When's your birthday? November 10th. Wow. Wow. Um, and this is her really confirming that she's here with you, always with you, right? Not just in this moment, but always with you. Um, and like, love you. Like, I feel like I'm about to cry. Like, love you, right? Like, you have all this love for other people, but you won't like turn that love on yourself, right? You. If you don't, like, you're not gonna experience all that there is to experience. Like, you have got to love you. As I'm sitting here, I'm, I'm thinking about how um, my grandmother would always say that it, whenever it's rain, it's a battle. That was her thing, whenever a pageant she had. When it started raining, it was a battle. And I always make it seem like that's my connection with her. Is when it rains, I'm, I, she's there. And today is a cloudy day and it's drizzly and I'm just, I'm praying that that's a sign that she's going to be there because I really want to talk to her. 
This is a real hard time for me. <laughs> And I just don't know what else I can do. I just need that. I just really need that right now. How you feeling? Baby, I'm just, I'm just like, oh, like, it feels good to know that she still is here. Yeah. Because she is who I call after every breakup. Uh, mm. Can I ask a question? Yeah. Um, seeing, I feel like my aunt was bamming on my door this morning. Yeah. What's going on in the car? <laughs> What's going on? If, if that's the feeling that you were having, it's probably to get your attention, right? To make sure that you are paying attention to something that you're not missing something. Something's big. I was like, it's network. It's something. And then you told me about the circle. And I was like, okay, so that's what I'm seeing, right? I forgot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, really did. I, haven't, I hadn't even told you yet. That's so true. You're right. The, the ultimate is for you to have your own, right? Um, but there are things I feel like that the universe is putting in place for you to be able to do that, right? Which with every, you know, the Wii TV and the different things that you're doing, it's just elevating your profile. I don't know. It's almost like I feel like she's trying to get your attention. Like, is this your mother's sister? Mm -hmm. Yeah. She's very funny. I, but I feel a very protective energy coming from her. But it's it's interesting. Like, even though you're grown, like, she still sees you as this little boy. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, all is well. But I, there's this number three just keeps popping up for you again. I feel like by the end of the year, there's going to be, like, three different times we're going to see you on television or three different things you're going to be doing as it relates to television. I don't know why I see like some type of game show or something. I don't know what that is though. What? What's going on? Not just knowing there's some things being talked about. So Awesome. So this is bringing some confirmation to those conversations. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was so gagged when LaCara said she could see me on a new production, specifically a game show, because saying it without saying it, in one of my recent visits to one of the networks I work for, my future involvement with them included game shows, talk shows, and I'm just like, okay. Seeing Rico get emotional and really connect to what Lakara was saying to him made me feel happy because to me it indicated that he was getting what his soul needed this is getting him back on the right track this is getting him back to his purpose this is getting him back to healing this is getting him back in his right mind girl you done got me in here wiped away my hair that's why i didn't put makeup on today i'm not gonna do this for the car <laughs> thank you all for coming thank and for you, thank you, thank trusting you. me with of this of course absolutely oh you got some beautiful joy ahead i believe that and i see that for you thank you oh, absolutely Come on, sister, let's go pray for these niggas. Oh, <laughs> I don't even I do care that. about them no more. <laughs> I just want to be with my family. <laughs>
Well, call me as soon as you come back to the car if it go down. If he ugly, I want to know, bitch. All right, bye. Child, listen. I don't know how to date, so I'm just gonna be honest. I'm nervous, I don't know how to date. My thing is, I be like, you like me, I like you, come over, I'm gonna cook dinner. And then, you know, three, four, five meals later, they hook. So I'm just, I don't know how to do this. I, I ain't been on date and I don't know how long. So, pray for me. I love my friend Elon, but if he did not make me with the right person, it's gonna be an ant from the beginning. Okay, so this is my type. I like a man with either beard or with hair. If he got both, whoo. Now he's a little bit short. He is kind of, you know, a little knee high to a grasshopper situation. But it's okay. It's okay, because the beard, the beard made up for it. That was nice. It was full. It was a nice thick pillow. I mean, I'm sorry. Carry on. How your day been going? Um, it has been a really long day. So where you from? I'm from Youngstown, Ohio. I'm from Columbus. Really? Well, I was born in Dayton, but I grew up in Columbus. No way. I've been out in these streets since I got out here. I'll see you in the streets. <laughs> no, I don't like that, but I'll hop out. How you hop out? I do a lot of hosting at my place because I like, you know, to cook. And so what should we be cooking? I really like cooking spaghetti. So that's your favorite dish you cook? Um, I wouldn't say my favorite. I can cook a lot, so I don't really have a favorite dish, so. Okay, I'm sorry, this is awkward because I really do not date. <laughs> I'm sweating to death, like. So do you have any, like, events or anything coming up? Um. Let's see if you can see my face. See me now. Chad, he took off some sunglasses. I wasn't ready. He cute, he cute. They lying you did. You did your big one, girl. I don't know. I don't know if I'm awkward if he awkward and we just awkward together. I don't know. It's he's cute. He's definitely cute. But it's like, um Girl, the sparks ain't flying. I'm just it, it ain't. It's it's mine. I d I don't my loins ain't lusting right now. Just, so are we feeling the day? Yeah. Okay. You know it's Leo Leo season, so mm -hmm. I'm probably gonna have a uh, housewarming slash little kickback for my birthday. More than welcome to bring your friend. You know, we can be out in these streets. <laughs> <laughs> the man was cute, so you know I'm down for I'm definitely down for a second day. I you never know. It was a lot going on on the day. It was it was a lot that most people ain't used to. So you know, I'm down for a second one. Let's see where it goes. Cause he definitely got that <laughs> that nice pillow. Beard. I mean beard. He got a nice beard. Okay, well don't be upset when I show up at your party. Okay. Because right. I can do me better than you can do me. Okay, well maybe. That's okay though. Okay, you might have to help me put my look together before here so we ain't looking crazy. It's hot. It's sweating. As you can see. <laughs> I see. Oh, wow. You took out this table for you. Give me a hug. And text me, okay? Perfect. Bye. Right. Who are you? I'm Beyonce. Bitch, bitch please. Oh, okay. No, no, no. Oh, okay. I'm going like, 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 now, baby, we are at Lock City Adventures. We're about to do that smash up X. Now, look, Rico has done a lot of damage, and you know, I just want him to be able to express himself. So, you know, I had to call the rest of the girl sisters, and we just pulled up. Let's break some shit. Yeah, the girls done got on the line trying to set up this event. Girl, the girls are going through it with they with their men's is and um Jay was like, girl, we need to take some aggression and frustrations out. You sure you wanna be around some ex girl? Okay, girl. Let's go, girl. I feel like we had wanting to come here. Let out some steam okay. from past breakups, things in the past, whatever you mm -hmm. need to let go. Let's let it go here. Child, we is down to the record place, and I'm down here with the people, LPDZ, we is in full effect. The people say they got some picked up energy, and I'm just here to support my friends. Cause ain't shit wrong with me. I'm just happy to be here to um, see some shit combust and implode. I'm busting this shit for all of the drama and bullshit that I have just been through. Yes, let it go. Even though I want my friend back, I know I can't. Release this shit! Release this shit! Yeah. You're not talking about me! Look, look, look. You're not talking about me! This goes out to myself for allowing myself to disrespect me for years. Yeah. Allowing myself to not be able to live. And harm my crowd. Yes, break it! This right here is for that sorry ass motherfucker. Oh, yes! yes. That I allowed to play the fuck out of me! Right! Let his ass move on a motherfucking billboard like it was a motherfucking hustle. Yes! Uh -huh. The whole time he was fucking everybody else. Girl, <laughs> 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 
yourself down. Get okay. Holding yourself back because oh, yeah. you are afraid. Here we go. Now I am releasing freedom, confidence, energy, and a good spirit to get the shit done. Yeah. stuck in with this relationship that I never really got out. He wanted the image of who he thought I was wanted to be. He wanted to make me this porcelain doll. As long as I sat right behind him in church, it was fine. But let me tell you one thing about me, I am nobody's porcelain doll. These tracks will come out real quick. I'm a full grown man. I am not your porcelain doll. You know, you can see this shit on social media. You know, this is kind of cute, but no baby. We had that, that real, that was real glass fly because I had a real cut on my foot. I'm having a good time just taking out that natural aggression and lo, lo and behold, you know, King kind of pissed me off a little bit, so I was, you know, having my mini moment again. You know, get her, hit her, get her for me. Ah! Ooh! But it's me really just, ah, ah, you know, just, you know, child, y'all know I'm a girl, honey, but don't let it fool you, because I am a man in the day, and uh, you saw how I swung that back, right? All right. Jay, thank you for inviting or setting this up for us. Yeah. You know, LDPZ style. Uh, <laughs> I did not think I was going to release. I didn't know I had all that. Oh, thing. I needed all that. that, shit, that, that after that the first thing, good. I said, ooh. Baby, when you hit the first thing, it's like your whole body go, ooh. Yeah, it's like, ooh. So you have fl I had flash Flashbacks. Bitch, you the whole time. I knew it was real. <laughs> <laughs> I said, fuck with me. I even sit up here looking like Tina Turner. <laughs> right. Simply and up there. What's going on? Is you like your relationship? <laughs> Oh. What? Oh. 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 Girl, you ain't paid attention. No, what happened? Girl, you need to open your eyes. Everybody has something. <laughs> no, what? I don't know for First, some first of all, I'm not in the relationship. He was talking to someone in the I'm, st I'm, st I'm, st I'm still talking to someone. Y'all don't want to tell me? I I'm trying I'm trying to say it without um saying it. You got any safety pins on you, girl? <laughs> mm -mm. We ain't gonna do, ain't gonna do oh. that. Ah. We're not gonna do that today. We're not gonna do that today. But yes, I like King Kang. Yes, we are vibing. And we are vibing. Yes. So at least somebody find a new love. Time. Basically, friends, I do want to say something because I was just playing it out in my head just now, and I was—I don't want nobody ever thinking I'm fake or mm -hmm. I'm keeping something from you. You know, you're my girl, and I love you. I just want to say, me and him—we have never dated. We're not dating. Mm -hmm. It's just when he came around early on, we like have like. Flirted, play flirted. Don't don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. I already know. Okay, I just wanted you to I just wanted to say this that. this is all before okay. me. Yeah. Girl, let me tell you something. I'm many things, but a home wrecker, a tired hoe, a slutty slut ain't never been none of them. I find it strange that him and Taco are now courting each other. However, that is none of my business. It is not my place to give my opinion. And I must support all my friends in their endeavors. And in doing so, I feel it very necessary to tell Tonka now, hey, King Kane and I have had a pass because he's gonna see it, he's gonna find out about it. And I don't want nobody ever thinking I'm a I'm a, I'm a low down shysty bitch. No man, especially not over no man. He know we, okay. we talked about everything. We talked about everything. I know. I okay, we're good. Know, good, good, good. He knows my relationship. Okay, y'all. Good. And he knows why I think I'm not trying to be in the middle of nothing. Okay. With my girls. And okay, so good. I like him and we vibe. Like Tonka girl, if you want to still date somebody who you know multiple people that you are close with, have been with, or have been, he's been flirting with those, then that's fine. I'm just going to tell y'all to bookmark this conversation right now for later times. However, I still don't like that motherfucker. Tonka and King Kane. Fuck it. Jane ain't got no man. I almost got locked up. Berlin man deep don't work. I hope y'all keeping up cause bitch is going fast. Let's go. Is everybody invited to the castle call? Um, I would like for people to come to su support and all that. Why be the full bus? Now, cause we haven't been around everybody. No, nah, honey, I would dress this. 
Not really, now, but no, I, I'm gonna address this to people. I don't want the girls thinking I'm fed, but what's this uh thing about don't y'all like this group because this is group vibe, good vibes only at my performance? What you mean? Some I guess this narrative going around, somebody said it was uh uh this don't y'all like this group and uh, uh good vibes, like don't you like just like this particular group? I thought the last time I was right here. Who said it? Like I said, I let it go in one ear who and out the other. But tell me who said it. It's your turn, ain't it? Who said it? Well, who said who it? it? Since I didn't invite Dominique and Troy to uh, the event because I invited King Kane. But who repeated it to you? Uh-uh, spill it, yeah, spill on. it. We already here now. Yeah. So I spoke with Willem. Willa told me what happened, and I actually had a conversation with Troy a couple days ago. She told you I said that? No, she. Oh, I'm no, not she, sure. No, she didn't say you, but like I said, I don't know who exactly said well, it. Well, who said I said something? No, they said somebody said it. You, you were standing right there. You came, you came to the event. You yeah. standing there. I was like, this feels really good. Yeah, like, that's, that's what, what I was about saying. to say. Well, we was at the event for Tonka's Ed Chef National Testing Day. Some messy bitch who don't got nothing else better to do with daytime took me saying that and took whatever the fuck Willa said back as the people who was not there. We ain't warm in the group and the energy is back. This is why I like coming around these bitches and hoes. This is exactly why. Because you try to do something good, you try to operate in love, light, and kind, and something that everybody say they want to do. And the moment you do, hoes who ain't got nothing better else to do, who should be playing in a pussy, want to take something and make it negative. Why? Because they bored. Me personally, I didn't hear that conversation. I didn't hear that. Part. But I didn't know who was invited, who wasn't invited. I just knew I had to come. It was just a good day. Yes, yeah, so that's what I said. Like it was a great day. Like I love the event. The performance was great. You did a fabulous job. Kendra was there, looking good, acting right. Everybody was there. I'm, it's the truth. You know, me and Willis have a conversation because you know, I have really got to know Willa, and I love Willa. I ain't got, you know, I want no bad blood, whatever. I don't want nothing misconstrued, and I want her to know, like, well, if you said that comment. Girl, let's talk about it. But if you didn't, then we need to figure out like what's going on. I wasn't trying to be messy or thing, but it was on my mind and my heart to like just ask. Were they saying Dominique or Troy felt some sort of way you didn't invite them? I ain't gonna say personally like felt some type of way that I didn't invite them, but you know they, I know Dominique wanted to be there, and I and I and I, and I, I get that because I wanted Dominique to be there. But like I said, that lingering situation between uh, him and Kane, I didn't want no foolishness. Yeah, I like Dominique. I like Troy. I like everybody. I like Kendra, I like Will, I like Jay, I like Oliver, I like Rico. I like love Juan. Oliver. I love I like Berlin. We love Oliver. You know, I, I like everybody. Because I don't have no issues. I love my sister Tom. I don't have no issue with nobody. You heard that he said like and love outside of people. Right. What is that? Yeah, because I don't, I don't love you right now because your hair ain't did. You said like Rico. I know you're not talking. I, I I like you because What's up under that? Um, you, you mess with my man. <laughs> Which man? <laughs> As long as we good, that's all that matters. As long as we good, let's go home. Come on, let's go home, child. Talk, we not gonna do this at your music video thing with all these children. I know, Jay, get your damn stick off the goddamn floor. I got new growth. Bring me out the past, I'm gonna act the brand new. Put it back in, cause I got a blue. counseling session we decided to meet up at Piedmont Park just to catch up you know I'm just glad that she's in a better space and I want to experience that side of Kendra so hopefully she pull up I don't know I'm praying to God she does because I'm loving this new side of Kendra I will be honest the 
30 minutes of sitting here, I realized this girl gonna be a no-show today. But while I was sitting here, I realized, bitch, Wayne done posted that somebody that slapped him and come to find out it's Kendra. Y'all see the emergency people just pulled off a of Kendra. Bitch, don't slap me. Kendra's a lost her motherfucking mind out here in these streets. You see the police? The ambulance here to come get her ass. We are in Clay County, she ain't in the goddamn pool. You know what happened when you at Clay County, bitch, you going to jail. Don't you ever try me. How the queens are trying to kill Girl, what the hell going on out here? I just said this girl was doing good. So why the hell she out here slapping the shit out of Wayne? You know what? Uh-uh. Never mind. I know exactly why she out here slapping the shit out of Wayne. So, girl, do your thing. If you in jail, call me. I'll bail you out. I ain't like the rest of the girls. Just let me know the amount, and I'm on my way. The cab or car. Let me know. I gotta get out of here. Next time on Chasing Atlanta. Oh my gosh, we the day is finally here. We are at the meat market. Girl, I don't know, man. I, I, That's all that damn thing. I feel bad. Are y'all dating or just talking? We're talking, just... we're dating. We went to go see the Little Mermaid together. It was oh. I've been hearing some things, other things. I love you. Mm -hmm. This is when I check out. You said you were wrong, but I never really got an apology to you. And you could have had a conversation with me off camera. Hey. Bye. Hey. Bye.